Greetings and salutations, everybody. Welcome to Shin Megami Tensei Devil Survivor. Uh, not Devil Summoner. No, no, no. That's that's a separate thing I'm doing. Mm, yes. So, I'm Robin. That's Zephyr. And a little bit of preface is in order. So, but uh, this is this is by request. Um, first of all, like this is uh, this is a video by Patreon request. And we're gonna be doing this game completely demonless. Just because we're masochists? Well, eh, yes, but it was also requested, and I've never done this before, so yeah. Uh, I I've never done this before, Anon Senpai. <sighs> you son of man. Must face the power you owe. And you must face your destiny as well. <laughs> Who is- is this Satan? It usually is Satan, yeah. Hello? Who is- th Hey, you- Hello! <laughs> I just got an email from Naoya. Isn't that his cousin? I ho I should be free tomorrow. Can we romance her? Are there romance options? The fated time draws- This is Lucifer! God damn it, Lucifer. Quit narrating. If this isn't Lucifer, I'm going to be stunned. I sundered the tongue Lucifer, of your father. Deep voice Igor or actual Igor? Deep voice Igor. <laughs> I can't do this. What was I think when she gave me this song? The fuck? Oh hey, Haru. Haru and Jin. The language of song is about <laughs> Why the fuck did... <laughs> did you see Jin's design? <laughs> Yes. But, um, so, yep, death counter on the side. Um, I'm gonna be keeping track of the, uh, the deaths in this game. Just as I did for, uh, my Nocturne playthrough, which you can find on my, uh, my personal channel. But, yep. Yeah. I have done nothing! I've done nothing wrong! I did everything correct. Are they in, like, the fucking internet? What the fuck? You truly wish to be yourself. Advise and fight the darkness within. Reach out to the truth. Reach out to the truth. Have the challenge, the will to challenge your destiny of battle, uh, son of man. State your name. Son of man. I I always love like fucking. I don't know why son of man always makes me laugh. Okay, that's us, I assume. Enter your first name. Alright. Just your first. Uh... Do I want- do I want the game to be controlled with the analog stick or the D-pad? Yes. Hmm, we'll, we'll, we'll try the analog stick for now, and if I want to switch that, we will. Uh, what do we want to go with? Do we want to go with Dick Lancer, or do we want to- wait, no, hi- Okay, yeah, we can do Dick Lancer. It's six things. Yeah, Dick is usually four letters, not six, Robin. It's not that long. Unless you're Long Dick Johnson. <laughs> yeah, fucking uh, huge dick. Hence the name. Uh, how do we have? Do we just have to go, Dick? Like, Looks like it. Come on. Wait, what if you press caps? Oh, doy. There you go. Thank you. Wait, so does he just keep caps lock on by default? Yeah, caps lock's just on by default, I guess. Wow, he... Who keeps their caps lock on? Right? Alright. Unless you want- unless you want his name to be something different. Nah, I don't really care. Right. It's not my playthrough. You're just here for the ride, and to tell me when I'm being stupid. Pretty oh. much. Alright, what's my- what's- what's my nickname? Uh. I- I don't think Dick- I think Dick is a nickname. Dick Coon. Uh, it's too short for that. It's too long. 
Dick Lancer. Dick. 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 Ah, uh, yes. As he proclaimed this world created seven... Well, well fuck, okay. Okay, yes, that's Lucifer. The sounding of seven trumpets heralding the end of the world? Absolutely. Lucifer's being edgy. I get- oh! I- I didn't mean to load a save state. How did I load a save state? I, I don't have a button to load save state on my controller. Oh, I'm sure that looked better, uh... Day before. You can't say the world ends in seven days and then start us on day zero! Of course you can, Robin. How else do you think the world was created before this first of the seventh day? Zero. There has to be no days. The null day. Yes. Mid-August. The summer of your second year of high school is almost over. Exactly, see? It's... it's... it's day zero in August. Day before. And everyone's going to school in Japan. Ah, uh, uh, good. Day zero. The middle of August. Yes. People visiting Tokyo have begun traveling home. It feels as They're Tokyo. visiting Tokyo in on day zero, Robin. Oh. This is true to what the Bible says, okay? Ah, the ancient biblical uh, land of Tokyo. Mm-hmm. Your cousin Naoya, with whom you have been living until a few years ago, suddenly called you to meet him outside 901. Hey, dick! <laughs> I will stop naming characters Dick the second it stops being funny. Which is going to be never. Always name yourself Dick. A boy carrying a laptop computer. Who calls the laptop computer? How's it going, Atsuro? What is Atsuro's voice? This this guy reminds me of How, but he's white. Oh no. Japanese. Wait, no, he is white. We're Japanese. Oh wait, shit. Uh, are we- wait, hang on, are we Japanese or are we white? Oh, we're white Japanese. Oh. I don't know, do we look like Yukiko? Good point, good point. Real nice of- right, In all seriousness, why does Yukiko look more Japanese than all the Japanese characters in the in Persona 4? It's because she's the only one designed with that in mind. <laughs> like, she's designed to look good in a Yukata. Whereas everyone else just kind of also dresses in a yukata. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> and like that sort of goes with the lot from for a lot of games. Like, like out of all the games that use like the anime aesthetic, Yukiko just looks the most n naturally Japanese. Right. And then, and except yeah. for Persona Five, where nobody actually looks Japanese. Yeah. Exactly. Maybe... Maybe Psy. Uh, definitely not on. No. Although that one's intentional. I know. I was just summer bed. We usually meet at school, so it feels like it's meant forever. Did we not talk to this ch man? Child? Uh, like this, this person is supposed to be our friend. Did we just not speak to our friend all summer? Why would we? Do we hate this kid? We probably do. Is everything good? <laughs> I mean, he looks too happy, and we look sort of like we're... Normal. W l looks what like we we're just like, yeah, mm -hmm. Are we wearing engineering earmuffs? Yes. What the fuck? <laughs> Those were very important back in the days of Day Zero. <laughs> Your. Uh, is everything right. good? How the fuck do we... Uh Uh, how do we know if everything's good? <laughs> no, everything's not good. Everything's terrible. Something happened. I mean, have you seen? Have you have you seen twenty <laughs> twenty? And you and you're asking if you're if, if I'm okay. <laughs> I couldn't think of anything to do. I spent all day on my laptop. This is a great time. I, he does not give a fuck. I just got no problem with coding. It has to be completely stumped, so I was about to go ask Naoya if he can help. Naoya. What the, who the fuck is Naoya? Whatever the fuck. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, here comes Yuhu. Don't call me Yuhu. My name is Yuzu. Can you stop calling me that stupid nickname? Even boys at school call me Yuhu, and it's your fault. Hey, stop. Yuhu, wanna go to my house and do the woohoo? Holy shit, dude, we are in high school. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I played The Sims, so. <laughs> A friendly nickname, and it's not just our class. Some of the teachers think your name is Yuhu. That's because people like you keep calling me that. It's working. Why are her eyes red? Because she's possessed by Satan. Ah, so she's the final boss. Got it. All right, do we want? We're just gonna tell him to shut the fuck up. Yeah, hey, you shut the fuck up. He keeps calling me Yuhu. Oh, apparently we just... Where's Naoya? Oh. I ran into Naoya a moment ago, and he asked me to give this to us. He said something has come up, and he won't be able to make it. He was... He, he, he was around enough to, like, give something to, uh, Yuzu, and then just went, Hi, yeah, take this, I'm not going to be able to do the thing, and left. Yeah, time to do that, though. They were a pain to carry around in my bag. Nintendo DS's! Oh shit. <laughs> they have game systems. Aren't these those communication player things? I see commercials for them before, they like play with people around the world. Oh, you know about them, Yoohoo. That's exactly what these are. The name communication player is a real mouthful, so people just call them comps. They have email and web browsers, so they're more like cell phones than game systems. <laughs> you can tell us what's made in 2009. Is that so? Naoya said, you'll all need them, don't let go of them. You'll all- well, there are three of them. Why would we need these? I mean, I've got a comp back, my own- Atsuo opens one of the comps and stares at it. I've never seen this menu, did he homebrew this? <laughs> Why is that funny? I don't even know. Do you mean he made this himself? Is that possible? Don't you know Yuhu? Nayo's famous among us programmers. He's a genius. Oh, so he's you. Ah, fucking wish. Something like this would be no problem for him. I had no idea. Is he really that good? I can't open this folder. It looks like it's protected. Protected? You mean it's set so other people can't mess with it? We can't look inside then. Atsuro can crack it. <laughs> That's right. Good thing I brought you, but I'm. Um, uh, oh, my laptop. Atsuro connects to his con. Oh, that's Atsuro. I didn't even. I I didn't care. I have not cared about Atsuro since we've met him. Whoops. What are you doing, Atsuro? What does it look like? I'm gonna hack the folder wide open. You're hacking it? Naoya's gonna be angry if you do that. We better not then. I just want- I- part of me wants to go with we better not just because, like, we want to ignore the plot. Mm-hmm. Oh no, we don't want to upset him. But that's what I'll stop it. You guys don't get it, Naoya is my teacher. You took the time to call me up and give it to me. That means he wants me to break his protection. It's like a friendly greeting. That oh, no. doesn't make sense. Why can't he say hello like a normal person? What's his encryption scheme? Is it this intense? No! Only someone like you would find this exciting! Ah, there we go. You can at least check your mail for now. Here's yours. Good morning. Here is the news. At 1600, a man will be killed at Shibuya. Uh, wow. Wait, will be? <laughs> I thought the news was supposed to report people who already were killed. It's news from the future. Ah, that's... <laughs> It'll, okay. It, the man will be killed in a Shibuya Ku Aoma apartment. The wounds on Wait, the Wait, does this take place at the same time as uh, Persona 4? Because that would make sense. Because the news channel would be like, Oh yes, we saw the Midnight Channel. So this person's gonna die. The Midnight Mail. <laughs> the wounds on the corpse are consistent with an attack by a large carnivorous beast. A large explosion will occur in Minatoku Aoma at 1900. The cause is unknown. At 2100, a blackout will affect the entire Tokyo metrop metropolitan area. Have a nice day. What the fuck? 
two people are gonna die, and then there's gonna be a bl like, uh, you get an email. At 4 p.m., a man's going to die in Shibuya. At 7, oh, oh yeah, at 7, there's gonna be a large fucking explosion in Minato, and then all of Tokyo is going to black out at 9. Okay, who let the meteorologist be in charge of the news? <laughs> <laughs> and at 4 p.m., there will be 20% chance of showers by <laughs> of, of, of dead bodies. <laughs> A man will be killed, will be attacked by some carnivorous beast? Kind of There'll be a 30% chance of being maimed by beast. Holy shit. More at 11. <laughs> it's just the news? Are we- the... Ah, yes. <laughs> I took my stupid Great. pills today. What'd you say? It's just a regular thing for them. Yeah, you know news from the future. The text is strange. <laughs> hey, don't don't worry about it. It's just, just it's just the news. Future news. That's not the point. That's the entire point. It's predicting news from the future. Yuzu, what the fuck are you on about? Oh, okay. For whatever reason, it didn't click. Oh, no. It also said there'll be a blackout in Tokyo today. What is this? Yeah, that's what you- Ooh. not the exp- you've- you've missed the explosion! I mean, you, you can't see the explosion if there's no light, Robin. The explosion happens first. No. Oh. The explosion happens at 7, the blackout's at 9. Alright, okay. It says, we, got, we got a well. Well, you can't prepare for an explosion, Robin. You can pre prepare for a blackout. Oh, today's news, but none of this happened today. Why would Naoma put a lock on this? Maybe it's code for something. Naoma, Naoma, Naoma's place is near there, but is that important? That's enough. This is way too creepy. I bet Naoma knew you would tinker with the cops, play a trick on us. I don't know. He's amazingly smart, so I think he must have meant for this to happen. I can't figure it out for just this. I'll try the rest of these files too. I'm gonna find some way I can think. Go kill some time. Oh, you can take the comps. I mean, their functions still work, so you may as well try them out. Okay. <laughs> I bet it's all just a prank. Atsuro always acts like such a kid with stuff like this. What should we do, dick? Why don't we wander around until Atsuro's done? I mean, I feel like we should stay around the 901. No. Nah. Who is fucking Josuke Higashita up there at the top right? <laughs> what the fuck? We can go kill some type of Shibuya or we can go somewhere else. I'm okay either way. Alright. Press the X button to open the comp menu where you can save the game among other things. The help text at the bottom lower of the screen describes the currently highlighted option. Alright, so we can save the game, I guess. Um... Message speed. These are arbitrary numbers. Like, w fast, slow... Please? I mean, don't you want the text to be super slow so you can catch up on reading it? I can move the text my own pace. I mean, direction. True. The fuck does direction mean? Control settings? <clears throat> uh, I'm. Maybe I'll care later. Profile. Yuzu. Hello. Childhood friends with Dick since grade school also knows his cousin Naoya. Still friends with Dick down at their high school together. Atsuro likes to call her you. Atsuro, high school classmate and best friend of Dick. Acquainted through uh, Naoya through programming forums online before meeting Dick. Started striving to become a programmer. Calls himself Naoya's number one apprentice. Alright. So, so he really is you. I, I, maybe. He's a programmer, just like you. Alright, so we got Shibuya. 
uh, Otome Sando, Harajuku, Ayoma, Shinjuku. Uh, there's that guy in Shinjuku. Let's go to Shinjuku, why not? Um, there's an action here. Kanagicho. Shinjuku Kani. As usual, Japan's largest shopping district is bustling. What should we do? Wanna go watch a movie or do some karaoke? She just... <laughs> we just rolled up here with her and she's like, Alright, so what are we doing? She's forgotten all about uh, the fucking, you know, death news. That's what I might call us, so we should go somewhere with cell phone reception. But she wants to go watch karaoke as well. Like, want to go see a movie? Want to go watch? Want to go do karaoke? Oh wait, we should make sure that he can call us. So let's go Whoops. somewhere loud where we can't use our phones. I mean, isn't that what what you're supposed to do? Holy shit! What the fuck? Who the? <laughs> a suspicious group. What the fuck is wrong with their shadows? I don't know. Look at, like, the, the rest of it is fine, but, like, they have, like, purple drop shadows over their eyes. What the sh- <laughs> Well, maybe they weren't feeling- They weren't feeling the regular shadows today. Maybe. And they wanted to go with the, uh... The, the, the wrong color. They wanted to go with pink shadows today. <laughs> A man is making a speech, apparently. And lo, the smiting from God against the Tower of Babel returns. What's with that bunch of weirdos? Now along with our Shomokai, let us bring the world together. With the power of the internet, the world will be at one once more. Oh god, wow that... <laughs> Are you interested in this dick? No. I'm not. <laughs> so, they want to use the power of the internet to start a war against uh, the Tower of Babel? Uh, maybe? No. No, that's, that's what I got from that. <laughs> Do we want to hear more? <laughs> I'm not even sure anymore. I didn't think you would be. Oh, sorry, I, I didn't mean that in a bad way. Believe well, I think it's great how the internet lets you connect with the world, but all this stuff about gods and bringing the world together, I don't know. Why are we even talking about this? Let's go somewhere else. The night and for the next three days, fellow members who believe in the power of the internet will gather in Tokyo. All are welcome to take part. Believe in his majesty and prepare for the ordeal. That is when we shall... Stop caring. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Boomstative. Oh, that's just an event with Yuzu. Oh, well, let's 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 do Yuzu's event. I'm interested because she has some great personality. To her. I think she. I think you think she has two of them. Mm -hmm. Two great big personalities. The stores around here are really fashionable. They're all like so mature, you know. I used to go to Harajuku all the time, but I always wanted to fit in in Omote, Om Omote Sando. Sure. Do you think I still got like a sore thumb here? I have no idea! I mean, does everyone else have red eyes? <laughs> does everyone else dress like that? I, everyone, I mean, we dress like fucking stupid, so yeah, she probably fits in. Probably. No way, really? Aw, oh, thanks. Don't you think that Harajuku and Otome Sando have different images? Otome Sando feels more like Ayoma's style than Harajuku's. Speaking of Ayoma, what time is it right now? 16.30. <coughs> uh, I was just thinking about that email. You know, the one about someone being attacked by a carnivorous beast? Is that the attack happened in the Ayoma area, right? It's around this time, too. No, it's a half hour late. No, what the fuck's wrong with you? Oh, hey, look. Death. Death. They're heading towards Ayama. <laughs> There's no way they can be true, right? Hey, Nayo's apartment is in Ayama, right? 
Why don't we go check it out? Don't worry about it! Don't worry about it! Hey, don't worry! Are you sure? I think we should see what happened. I'm sure he's fine. Something's still bothering me. We should go. But thou must. Look at this team. Gonna do great. I can appreciate a good but thou must. Sometimes. Sometimes, yeah. It seems that the police were going to the building Naoa lives in after all. The scene is roped off by police and a crowd of onlookers has gathered. Someone else who just arrived approaches you. Oh, objectively evil man. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, that's Naoya. Oh. I'm surprised to see you, Dick. What are you doing here? Orochimaru looking ass. I'm... I was not worried. Neither of these options are true. <laughs> Safe. Oh, you mean the incident in the building. Of course that's what we mean. What's going on? That weird email you made us made us all jumpy. I see. I set my building on fire for the bit. It is as the kids say, for the vine. Ah, yes, for the vine. Sorry about that, I didn't mean to frighten you. The person who was eaten was a student like yourselves. He lived next door to me. Was eaten? No way! Is that what, is what the email said really true? We got the email before the incident happened. What does all this mean? It's telling the future. I, this is literally what I was... Mm, you idiots. Your thought process never ceases to amaze me. Usually, one would suspect that the one who sent the email carried out the murder. No wonder you're my cousin. I understand why the two of you came here, Dick. Did they not put two and two together? But our meeting here is an accident. We shouldn't be talking here like this. Hurry and find Atsuro immediately. It's going to begin soon. Begin? What are you talking about? Naoya looks away and seems to have no intention of answering any more questions. There isn't much time. Listen carefully, both of you. Do not turn away from what is about to happen. Do not be afraid to stand up against it. That is when the door of truth will open. Overcome your fate. Oh, wait, wait a second. Naoya walks away. He's gone. Something didn't seem right with him. Which thing? You mean the fact that he... The fact that he is acting all weird, or the fact that he looks like a fucking villain. He looks like... He looks like Sashomaru if he was an edgy teenager. Oh god. Your cell phone rings. The caller ID says Atsuro. Why not just say it's Atsuro? <laughs> because it might not be Atsuro. It might be his brother. It might be his dad. It might be his what mom. The might be his murderer. You you ne you you never know. Give us the uh, get, you have options. One of them. <laughs> yes. Answer the phone or answer the phone. Yo, I figured out how to crack the encryption on the comps. I need you so I can unlock them. Meet me in front of the electric museum in Shibuya. Why don't we meet up with Atsuro? I'm all confused from everything that's happening so suddenly. Yeah, he, so are we. Maybe Atsuro's figured out something on his end. Atsuro. The Electronic Museum. The north, uh, it's north of Shibuya along Yamanote, east of Miyashi Miyashita. What took you guys so long? How far away did you go when you were killing time? Who went to Naoya's place? You guys want to see Naoya? Oh yeah, well... Someone died? Yeah. Wait, what? Are you saying that the email actually came true? Anyway, if you ran into Naoya, why didn't you call me? I had some stuff to ask him. So much was going on that we kind of forgot you. Oh well, that's okay. Bring it up now isn't gonna change anything. Also, uh, the explosion's about to happen? Or, oh, should've already happened, actually. 
We're just gonna ignore that, I guess. <laughs> so, what's going on? Is what was written in the email actually coming true? Come on, there's no way an email can predict the future. Are you sure you didn't just fall for one of Naoya's pranks? Did he really do that? You put it that way. Well, he's human too. You must just have a sense of humor. But someone really did get killed. <laughs> the police were there. I can't believe they'd be part of the joke. Naoya was telling the truth, and the email wasn't a warning, right? Unless someone really did predict the future, it's probably just a coincidence. There's more in the email. What do you mean? Oh, yeah, it mentioned an explosion and a blackout. If it was predicting the future, it'd be odd if those don't happen. Still, they seem pretty unlikely. What? But... Who cares? Once I crack the cops and look inside, it'll all make sense. Still not convinced, but tell us what you figured out. You did figure something out, right, Atsuro? Yeah, I was completely fooled. I think they already knew I'd try to get inside one myself. Seems these three comps always monitor each other, so I can't crack one alone. See, the comps are constantly transmitting certain signal- What the fuck? Without that input, several parameters are set in such a way that it makes it impossible. Enough with the explanation, just hurry up and do it! <laughs> I can vibe with that. I'm gonna unlock the systems. Turn your comps on. While waiting for Atsuro to finish, you look up someone and see someone who looks like Naoya. Although Shibuya is a popular area, the street is empty and he seems to stand out. Gee! I wonder why he stands out! It can't be his glow-in-the-dark jacket. Uh, or radioactive, maybe? Something. His handsome face is expressionless. <laughs> ah, yes, very handsome. Okay, done. Restarting the comps. Communication player. Pfft, okay. Booting program. The fuck is this? Booting green. Program. Demon Don't you recognize it, Robin? Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> oh boy. It's it's the it's the equivalent of the of a Ouija board. Peaceful days are over. Let's survive. You might even say, let's devil survive. Hey. Uh oh. Pixie! Damn, she big! Monsters came out of the comps? Ah, what is this? Ah, I thought I was gonna suffocate in there. But this is the human world? And these humans must be the ones who summoned me. We will fight then. If I win, I will have my freedom. Holy shit, okay. No, oh, don't kill the pixie. Get ready. I'm going to... I'm not going to let you guys go. You have to die so I can go free. Uh-oh. Well, or or they could just go free anyway. We don't care. Like... <laughs> like, uh, do we have to kill the pig? Oh, hey, you're... Uh, uh, we're you're... playing as Yuzu. Yes. Uh, attack! Yuzu just attack. punches a bitch. Oh shit. Help! Dick! That's so well. Damn it, we're coming! You're pretty tough for a human. Charm recovers health? Okay, interesting. Humans are tasty demon food. He's gonna try to kill Atsuo. Oh, of course, we get the one guy with a club. I Please make Atsuo's attack just be awful. Aw, oh, damn it. Miss, get fucked. Oh, we won. Interesting. Neat. As far as I can actually be defeated. I've heard that if I lose, I become your servant. Oh well. I'm the monster Kabuzo. Pleased to meet you. The monster disappears. Did, did okay. we defeat them? Our attacks really worked. I mean, if, if flailing your arms back and forth counts as an attack, sure. Hey, whatever works. 
Because I doubt these kid, any of these kids are black belts. <laughs> yeah, like... Or even know any self-defense. I'm sure they know, like, relative struggle punch, but... That, like... <laughs> yeah. We can win. We can't die here. Fight me! We win! Fight me, you cowards. Be careful, Dick. You got to get them before they get you. Ka punch! Oh fuck! We got crit. Oh, we we do ten damage. We're the best out of everyone here. Oh wow! We just didn't get the extra turn then. I guess. This fun. Fight some more. Welcome to the comp tutorial. Use the attack command to strike foes. You can attack any square with J. Oh, it's Fire Emblem. To attack a distant foe, move closer. Oh boy. Ah, yes. My options in combat. Move. Attack. Dick. Oh, no. <laughs> you the, can dick the pixie, Robin. The dick command. Oh, dick. The dick command allows me to summon. <laughs> I mean... Why wouldn't you be able to summon with your dick? That's how everyone summons. It is. It it takes about nine months for it to take, though. But you do summon. Mm-hmm, yep. The spawn from hell. Oh, what point do we want to level up? Um... Oh, this is helpful. Well, they just didn't even bother with luck this time. Thank God. Uh, strength, magic, vitality, and agility. I have no idea what any of the stats do, so... Yeah, that's kind of where I'm at right now, like... Boy, howdy, am I sure they do something. Do we, like... Do we want to look it up so we, like... I mean, strength is probably a safe bet, because I don't think we're going to be getting too many spells without summoning demons. Well, I mean, it's it's a demon that's run, so. True. Okay, I actually. I'm sure your build matters. Right. All right, I just looked up the I just looked up the stats. Strength is damage dealt by physical attacks. Mm-hmm. Uh, magic is damage dealt by magic, maximum MP and dam uh, damage taken by magic. Vitality is maximum HP and damage taken by physical attacks. And agility, um, accuracy, um, evasion, and chance of starting combat with extra tones. So, it sounds like we're gonna want to ignore strength. At least for a little while. Like, until we know that- Once we figure out whether or not we get magical abilities without the use of demons, then we can start looking into specking magic. But right now, I'm mm. leaning agility, vitality, and maybe strength as a safe. But definitely mm. agility and vitality. Vitality first. Yeah, vitality. How much does that boost it? Oh. It's by six points. Yeah, because it says it. Because you want to decrease as much damage as you can, as you can, as well as increase your HP. True. First. Because you want to be able to take hits first. True, true. If we can and get, and then you wanna, and then we'll probably rely on agility a bit more later down. Yeah. And then followed by magic, depending. Yeah, that makes sense. But early on, early game HP is usually the most important thing. Yeah. Because you got so little of it. Only heard of them. Me, Cobalt Demon of War. To meet you, nice. Mm, to meet you, nice. <laughs> Move. Uh, we can flank Pixie, I guess. Oh, uh, yeah. And let's dick her down. And I assume that would be how we <laughs> summon. But yeah, dick. Deep. Oh, oh. Oh, so we can suspend the game and save, I guess. Oh. But, but... I guess... 
Yeah, let's let's finish the combat before we end the episode. Of course. This is going to amount to uh Initiative plus five. Wait. What's initiative? Vote for initiative! Is initiative like I don't know. Uh tone order maybe? Maybe it's just the chance to have an extra turn or something? Maybe. Uh, I don't want... I feel like Yu Yu... Yeah, Yu Yu's gonna get fucked up, so I'm gonna try to move her away. I feel like that's a good bet. Being Fire Emblem. Yep, yeah, right. And then Atsuro's gonna murder... Atsuro's gonna murder the pixie. Eats Keat! Holy shit, she fucking died! She exploded. I can't believe I lost to a human, but I'll abide by the contract. I'm the fairy pixie, don't you dare waste me. I have bad news! <laughs> Alright, at least Yuzu got levels from something. Mm -hmm. Alright, we leveled up for winning. Um, more HP. Yeah, more HP seems like a safe thing. You're already at 54. <clears throat> the hell does that mean? Still alive. We're all still alive. Next time on Devil Survivor Demonless, we're still alive. Hell yeah. See you then. Yep.